Hi, it's Allison Dorant coming to you from my art studio here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I still haven't WD-40'd my chair. It's pretty squeaky. Um, that's been sort of an ongoing joke on my YouTube channel. And yes, which by the way, I started my own YouTube channel in May of this year and it's been wonderful. I'm also discussing the journey that I have been on as I have published my new art poetry for insights and inspiration oracle deck. So this is the box and this was designed uh, with my art, with the painting Quiet. Um, so this painting just sort of represents a lot about why I had published this particular deck of cards. And there's 71 cards. You can see the shimmer here. It's absolutely beautiful on all sides nice. I don't have the reddish lighting from the forest fire smoke here. I love the polka dots, which are an accent that I use in a lot of my work, as, as you know, if you've been following me. And this is just an example of a few of the cards. And the lighting's tricky. This one I definitely have needed to remind myself of. Keep it simple. And that just gives you an example of the back of every card. These are shuffleable. I am not great at shuffling, but you can just sort of shuffle like this. Or you can, I find if you split the deck in half and then you shuffle the traditional way, you can kind of get the cards almost warmed up. They're really high quality 350 gram card stock. So super, super thick. And this deck has a lot of density. Um, so that's the one thing when you first get it, you'll probably feel like, wow, this is a really um, high quality, sturdy uh, deck of cards. <laughs> and, and this card, um, it was hard to just sum up the meaning behind these cards and why I chose to do this. So I'm going to be going through that on my YouTube channel. I hope to pull 71 cards over the span of like I don't know if it's like twice a week or once a week, once a month, whatever kind of fits into my lifestyle as it's been changing in the last, um, the changing in the last year with uh, lifestyle changes. And I just thought I'd show you what you're getting. You can shop now on my website. This deck is $60 Canadian. I'm shipping worldwide and your destination will be calculated after you've sort of, um, shipping is calculated based on your destination. And People are just starting to get these. I launched the collection on August 31st and oddly enough people in the UK have gotten them before people in the US so if you're patiently waiting my deck uh, it's on its way and do let me know when you get it. I'm always super appreciative of people posting and I have some recent posts that friends have sent and art buyers and they said you know I'm setting myself an intention every morning by pulling a card and what I had written on the back was the way I would use these cards for myself. Choose a card in the morning or choose a card at night or whenever a thoughtful moment invites. And my artist statement is very in line with this uh, deck and the cohesiveness, the story behind it, which is a visual reminder to stay present in the moment and appreciate the beauty that holds the power of connection and evoking change. And through the process of creating this deck, I have connected with so many people worldwide, both in the communities of the classes that I had taken, as well as connected with myself and my purpose, my why. I've really solidified that and I look forward to sharing so much more. But before I go into way too much detail, I just wanted to show you these cards. I'm also possibly already <laughs> creating a different deck, a cohesive deck. Whether or not you'll be able to purchase this as an original deck, I don't know. I'm just like so, so, as, as you know, if you've been following my YouTube, I'm just always inspired. I'm working on a collection called As We Cloud Our Vision, and these are little minis, and there's going to be also larger pieces. So the collection's probably over 15 pieces now, which I'm really excited about. And there's a story behind that. There's also a story behind me. This uh, canvas print, Buds and Bouquets, this is going to be embellished by me at the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Show fundraiser, which is coming up uh, this Saturday, September 16th. I don't know if you've had a chance to get your tickets, 
but Maya Corona, a beautiful artist here in Calgary, as well as myself, we will be painting live. I'm not sure if I'm going to be embellishing uh, my art, so this painting here is uh, one that I'm going to take with me as well and embellish my mountain painting, uh, light within my reach, and, and then buds and bouquets. And I haven't decided if I'm going to be working small. <laughs> I've been working small lately. Um, this is an example of, I've been proofing my work on cam canvas prints from Art Magic YYC, and uh, I've just loved working small. So if you catch me at the fashion show, you may see me uh, working on really small paintings as well as larger ones. And um, I am also going to be part of the grand opening of the audio room, which is a very high-end stereo and speaker sound systems beautiful place uh, in downtown Calgary and I was asked to be part of their grand opening with Jazz YYC, so music combined with art and sort of this, um, there's sort of an alignment of my artist statement, my why about staying present in the moment. I love the idea of, you know, when people walk into a gallery or a museum and they look at a piece of art they stop in that moment and they take it in and <laughs> sorry, my husband just rode by on a bike outside so sorry a little distracted i'm not staying in the moment but back to my moment uh you basically when you are at a museum or a gallery i feel like it's the same way as when i am painting i am in the moment i am present i am not thinking about anything i don't have my phone on or nearby and how many times do we have that where we truly take in visual art and stop and process what we're feeling at that time? And I think those memories of when we've been in museums or galleries are so much more memorable because we're truly appreciating that moment. And that really matches up with my artist why. I've kind of gotten sidetracked a bit, but I unfortunately have, well, fortunately, I'm going to one of my really good friends weddings on the same day as the opening and the audio room was really amazing and they said if you want to have a presence with us on October 26th do you know uh, they've already purchased five of my paintings my larger paintings and they're right now at the audio room on the main level and there's about three levels and they said if you really want a presence let's let's do this so that's sort of in limbo right now. I'm just focused on the fashion show coming up this Saturday, which I'm really excited about. Uh, but I just wanted to let you know that because I did sort of mention that I would be at the audio room and I still don't know what that looks like. I'll definitely have my art there and uh, I, hope, I hope that I'll be able to see you there. I might even be able to do my own opening show with them at another point in time, at another date. So I, uh, yeah, that's my update. And again, my art poetry deck, which is, um, it's titled because my art is this very abstract, watercolor, colorful, tranquil, calming, kind of like gardens in the sky, like um, dreamy, dreamy pieces that really highlight blank space that I love. Those pauses, those silences in conversation that highlight when there is, um, you know, when there there are spoken words, uh, I think of freeze dances where it highlights, you know, if you just stop after all of this movement, the beauty behind that moment and how important it is to uh, freeze and totally sidetracking, which is what I do. Uh, if you like that, follow me on YouTube because I do a lot of daily inspiration where I move from topic to topic and you'll never get bored. You will walk away with a little bit of inspiration and this you can purchase now at alisondorant.com. I've also recently rebranded myself. I have been known as Art by Ali Mac for a long time since I had a jewelry hobby when I was working as an RN. And this is my new business card and I have a new email and I'm just getting used to all of this. I have a rebranded website and so there's a lot of changes coming. A lot of it's happening at the same time, but it's all really exciting and I am committed to really um, getting my art out there and 
really sharing my passion and I'm committed to being a full-time artist now, which I feel has taken me a while to say. So thank you to all of you that have supported me and joined me on this journey. And I hope I've inspired you in some way or I can inspire you in some way. And yeah, I'm just expressing my gratitude to you. Thank you so much.